I'm gonna get into this real quick. Because there is that whole article on the girl. On the lady who said she got tired of writing the strong female characters. And I can understand that. But here's the thing. Yes, there should be more than just their tough and their invincible. Like, great. That doesn't necessarily mean that a woman is not going to be tough if she's in a physical confrontation either. There's, you know, the person called Ronda Rousey and several other UFC players. Or wrestlers, whatever the fuck they're called. Fighters. Yeah, fighters. Still tough. Corey Everson who was into the whole bodybuilding thing. Yes, Corey was one of my heroes as a child, and there was Cena and the Red Sonja and all these other things, you know. Those exist, so yes. A narrow definition that the only way a woman can be tough is if it's mental tough is bullshit. Yes, there's a physical difference between men and women, but then they were bitching about the cyclist trans woman, but women have the benefit there in stamina. It's not a physical thing. It's not strength. That's another one of those. You're bitching to be a bitch. Good for you, Joe Rogan. You're a little Randy Couture starter kit. Happy for you, you with your small dick and your assholeness. Good for you. Sometimes I agree with them. Sometimes I'm just like, fuck you, man. Just fuck you. Okay. Oh, they're gonna be food. No, there's a lot more than that, asshole. Why don't you research shit before you open your fucking big mouth with your bald head? Why are you speaking for No, no, no. You're speaking your personal opinions, and that's fine. You may say I'm doing the same thing, but mm, not really. But that's fine. Again, a woman can be tough. And it doesn't have to be just mental tough, emotional tough. There is physical tough, and there is emotional mental tough for men as well. And you can, shocking as shockers, have a woman be tough in a movie and at work, like Cynthia Rothrock and whatnot. Just don't be fucking retarded like Ray, where you're just invincible person. Because man, woman, no one cares. They, they don't say Gary Sue much, is why people think it was a woman only thing, which it's not. But it was thought that way because people got smart enough and realized we can make more money with characters like Luke Skywalker. And Indiana Jones, who are fallible. <gasps> and for some reason, when I started making these predominantly lit females, because there, there, there have been female action stars since Pam Greer. Brie Larson put that in her pipe and smoke it. Yes, I'm shooting at both sides right now. The left and the right, both of the, the alt-right and the SDW. Not the normal right people who are voting just normally and living their lives. Not the normal left people who are just voting normally and living their lives. But you know the ones. The over-the-top idiots. But to say what makes women tough is the mental thing. Well, there is a mental toughness, yes, for men and women. There is also the emotional for men and women. That's why idiots were able to say what they said yeah, on the left. Because there were some. About Doctor Who. I'm not, well, I shouldn't call it ages, people will be saying. And there was someone on the right saying the same damn thing. It has to be a man because it's different for a man not being the physical tough. Yeah, no, that's not true. You know it. I know it. Okay, pumpkin? Yes, I know I, f I failed the damn stupid ass. I didn't do very well on those quizzes, but I had stuff on my mind and a couple of beers in my gullet, so. Fuck it, I'll post to them anyway, even though there's somewhere I'm like questioning it later, like, wait, that doesn't make sense. Another one's like, I guess they were obvious and I should have figured it out, but fuck it, shit happens. <clears throat> Thing is, though, maybe I'll get views for fucking up on that. So people can say, oh, well, I can post this. Be like, hey, give me the views. <laughs> yeah, like, I make any money doing this shit. Sure. I curse my head off because I know I can. But. To put narrow views on what makes a man and a woman and they have to fit into these stereotypes. It's kind of bullshit. You can make characters like Bale and that be tough, a form of toughness. But you can also make... Uh, what's her name? Miranda Miranda, who's a great archer, good fighter, love the outdoors and shit. Not so great on cleaning up too much and doesn't want to get married there. Or, you can make characters like Mulan, who becomes tough because she has to. Those are all possible women. And you can say, well, they're all fictional. Oh, I put out Ronda Rousey there. And I can put off several and Corey Uberson, neither of which are fictional. K 
Okay, pumpkin. And I'm deleting that now because I don't need that anymore. <sighs> See, what I want is personal freedom. Everybody to be themselves. To be allowed to be themselves. Which I don't have to have boring ass movies and calling everybody racist when you know they're not. Just to try to fucking get your shit out there. That's horse shit. So yes, I oppose both crazy people over here on the SJW side and crazy motherfuckers here on the alt-right. The people in the middle, I like well enough. I don't try to, but let's be honest, it's the middle. There's a lot of us here. There's a lot of us here on all sorts of different points of views that we disagree and agree upon. As it should be. Because why would we all agree on anything? We're the middle. We're just not the extreme here or there. Even though the extreme here or there also disagrees with each other in their points. There's not really any unified hive mind. And there are some of the SJW sides that seem to fit a lot of bit of hive mind there. But for the most part, everybody's just kind of doing their own thing. And it is what it is. We try to figure this fucking world out on our own. about to say, well, a woman's toughness would be her mind and her physicality. Okay. Then how is there a whole division of UFC for women fighters? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> also, what the fuck is a woman's bantamweight champion? Like, you're gonna have, whatever. You got Holly Holmes, who looks like a goddamn Barbie doll. Look, look at her. I mean, she's not wearing makeup or anything, but she still looks like just the average cute little girl. But she beat the living shit out of Rhonda. Now, I, if Rhonda's, she's only 38. Now, if Rhonda's fucking, uh, focus wasn't split all over the place, would it have happened? Maybe, maybe not. I don't really know. You got this. Mis Musate? I don't know. Again, not exactly Broomhilda here. So yes, there are a lot of these people that have been doing this shit for years. So they were inspired by this shit and these are real life fighters who happen to be female to say, well, you know, the men are tough. I don't think a man is gonna, I don't know, kinda. I don't know, I have to see this, yeah, I'll dull up and shit. So to say, and the division wouldn't exist as it is. They have to have like, you know, the glow shit where everything would just suck till they got good at it. These people were good at it from the get go because they've been training all their lives. So to make that blanket statement that the way a woman can be tough is this way, the way a man can be tough is that way, is horse shit. Sorry, it's horse shit. It's obviously men if they're tough physically. Bullshit, a man can be tough mentally, emotionally, as a woman can. As a woman can also be tough physically. They're trying to take that away to just get what you want out there. It's horse shit. You be full of shit, that's fine. But admit you're full of shit and you're following your own fucking stereotypes. Now, that doesn't say I want boring ass movies. I want something interesting out there. That has a full story of who a character is fully. Okay. <sighs>